America's military steamroller is steadily grinding the enemy back to the Ruhr in the north and the Saar in the south. Through saint savold Lorraine headquarters of the enemy, the American Third Army pushes toward Germany. The hub of vital Saar roads, the town is scarred by enemy shells. To route the Wehrmacht, tanks roll in. This mammoth flaunts a Times Square nameplate. Now the troops swing towards Saarbrücken, 15 miles away. Nearing the German border, the battle grows grim and the guns take over. For the railroads linked to Saarbrücken's big marshalling yards, the Germans battle desperately. But bitter enemy counterattacks and mines strewn along the way fail to block the Allied advance. Up in the hills, captured Nazi guns now lob shells against their former German masters. This team fires a Nazi 88 millimeter monster. It doesn't take long for American crews to solve Nazi gun secrets or to work out methods for using Nazi instruments. The Wehrmacht kindly left plenty of shells for the guns. On the northern front, the American Ninth Army crashes into Linnick. For this vital rower bridgehead and road center, shelled constantly by the enemy, the ground troops fight grimly and win, pushing deeper into Germany. <laughs> 